Good morning each and everyone. Hope you all are ready with your books and copies to attend my class. So once again, welcome you all for the online class. So students, in my last session, means in yesterday's class, I completed all the exercises of lesson 3. Right? And now, from first to three, the first three lessons, everything is completed. Okay? Completely completed. Right? Yes, I know. I remember. The one exercise, the last exercise of lesson three, which is contraction. I left. I did not leave actually. I gave you in one word. Like, uh, I will, I'll, do not, don't. Only the word I made you write. And I told you that this I'll give you in the copy when the school start running. So, uh, okay students. This is why I am saying because this exercise is said to write, rewrite of the following sentences by using contraction. So this means this way. I am just uh, giving you one example to making you try to understand what is rewrite. Suppose the question is, if you do not keep quiet, your teacher will get angry. Okay. And if I will say to rewrite this sentence by using contraction, then how the answer will be? The answer will be this way. If you don't, do not, don't. So if you don't keep quiet, your teacher will get angry. This is called rewrite. So answer in rewrite. Understood? So this I want to give you in copy. To make you understand. So I said I will give you. When the school will. Uh, when the school will reopen. And it goes smoothly. Okay student. Now no confusion. And don't worry for it. Okay. It's clear. Now. Now we'll go for the fourth lesson. We switch on the fourth lesson. And the fourth lesson is. A poem. Yes. In my old child. In my old child. So first you all open your books. Pick out lesson 4, a poem. Okay. So all have opened the books. Now look into your book. You can see some pictures. Three pictures are given and they are the people who were known throughout the world. Who are they? First one, Gautam Buddha. He was the founder of Buddhism. He was the founder of Buddhism. Second picture is of Rani Lakshmi Bai. Who was she? She was freedom fighter. She fought for the country to make it free. Freedom. And the third picture is of Dr. Sarvapalli Radha Krishna. Who was he? He was the president of India. So these people are well known throughout the world for their great deeds, for their great work. So this way children, many more people are there. Ordinary people who do great deeds, good deeds, kindness, then or caring about others. But we are not knowing about them. We are not knowing about them. So this poem is about that ordinary girl. Ordinary girl. Okay. This poem is about that ordinary girl. Now, in my old town is a poem of a little girl who went about dropping the seeds wherever she went. Despite many made fun of her. And after many years, 
what she dropped that created in a little forest on the land which was known as barren land you know the meaning of barren barren means where the plant could not grow we can't grow anything there green it it just barren we can't grow anything over there okay so this poem is of 28 lines without separating into para stanza means this poem is in a stretch of 28 lines okay there's no paragraph in this poem like other poem you read you learned they were in uh, paragraphs of four lines of eight lines this with the they are divided into paragraphs but this poem is in a stretch of 28 lines okay students and this it is a narrative poem narrative means process of telling story so it is a narrative poem it tells a story about a little girl who dropped seeds wherever she went okay now i will start reading and to explain this poem okay student in my first session in my first online class i written the poem on the board the first poem waiting at the window i wrote on the board why because you people may not having the books but now all are having books so i will read from the book and explain you as i did for my last two lessons okay now i will read the poem okay students so students lesson 4 in my old town by erin hansen i'll give you a short introduction of her she was born in 1981 and was from queensland australia she used to she used to run the blog do you know okay i'll tell you blog means a website where person writes regularly about topics that interest them usually with photographs and links to others website they feel interested her blog was named poeticunderground.com she died in 2015 in very early age she loves the painting she loves to do painting okay this is little about erin hansen now i'll start the poem in my old town there was a girl she dropped seeds everywhere she went while all the boys carved out their names in any patch of wet cement they would laugh at her and tell her she would never make a mark if all she left behind her were some falling leaves and bark now i'll tell you this poem this much i read the poet is tells the story of a little girl who used to drop seeds everywhere she went wherever she was going she was dropping the seeds the boys of her age were busy teasing her they always teasing the girl by saying this that she would never make a mark she simply dropping the seeds but not making mark like them they were making their mark how they were making the mark they were making the mark 
They means boys. They were leaving their mark, etching their names on patches of wet cement. Means they were carving their names on the patch of wet cements. Carving means carving means that a stone or a piece of wood in order to do something to make to write something on it okay and these boys they were patching of patch of wet cement they were carving the name they were writing the name on the wet cement why they were doing because these boys thought that once the cement dried up their names would remain there aged forever once they will write the name on the cement this wet cement and when the cement get dried this their names remain on that will never go off okay so this uh, poet poetess was saying that this girl little girl she was dropping the seed everywhere she went these boys of her age always kept teasing her that this girl only doing the work of dropping seeds she is not making any mark behind her so that she will come to know that she would have visited this place once so this these boys they were just making fun of her and they said she they just laughed at her and telling that the girl is only making a mark behind her that was falling leaves from the tree and bark which bark dog's bark no bark is a covering of a tree tree means the tree which is very old when it becomes very old it be, that's the down part of the tree is called trunk and the trunk is having that cover which is called bark so the boys made fun of a girl and said that this girl only leaving the mark at the back of her behind her that is falling leaves and bark okay now next so i wonder if they have been back since we grew and left that place or if they still all carry markers in their pockets just in case because i would love to see their face faces if i told them what i have seen that the streets where we once played now down beneath a sea of green and their names scratched on the sidewalk weren't as eternal as they had planned for in the place where the ones wrote them and endless forest proudly stands so here the poets poetess is saying that after many years later this poetess wonders if the boys still roam around with the markers after many years when these boys who carved their names on the wet cement will come back with the markers again the place where they left where the mark was left what would be the reaction if they return back to their town and found that the streets they had played on they passed the time on it and the places they had etched their names they just made the fun of that girl they were made the fun because she was dropping the seeds every time everywhere she went so and now that place is converted into forest it's not left like they left their names so that it will be known that they have passed through this place but all these converted into forest and the 
poet used the word sea sea of green this doesn't mean sea that sea this means that place converted into green color full of green and green here means forest so this poet is saying that these boys if they come back again with the marker to make the mark and the mark which they left over there they just carved on the wet cement all off because that place now converted into forest so she wanted to see the reaction on their faces what will happen when they come back to see this on the same in the same town now next would they tell that girl they are sorry if they ever had the choice for not knowing those worth hearing don't ella always have the loudest voice that in future all the things we do will still have an effect and the sometimes and that sometimes those who change the world are those who least expect so means here the poet is said saying this would they apologize to the girl they had teased when they will come back and they will see the barren land converted into forest then would they apologize to the girl that they had teased they were teasing no the girl when she was dropping the seeds they were teasing they were making fun of her that we had made the mark on the wet uh, cement and the, uh, this girl is not leaving any mark behind her now see what happened the dropping seed had converted into forest so would they apologize the girl that had teased would they realize that kindest acts do not need to be announced so this uh, poetess mean meant over here that what the kind the kind kindness we do the kind acts we do it should not be announced to say and do something that girl she was quietly doing her work she was not telling that i am dropping the seed that this will happen and she was unknowingly doing she also was not knowing that uh, what kind work she is doing and that happened that the, that those seeds converted into forest so this kind acts do not need to be announced and the least expected could not have the most lasting effect on changing the world for the better the poets the poetess says that often the people who change the world are the ones whom you least expect it from okay so the poem theme is little acts of kindness should go a long way in bearing fruit and brightening the life lives of others okay children so this is very important that what we do whatever we do little acts big acts small acts of kindness we should not be jeer jeer means to laugh on others to make comments on others the person who is doing such things should not make comments on others because that kind that great deeds that good deeds what it will show later nobody knows so this girl did a very great deed and the people around her they were making fun of her they were teasing her and this little girl which dropped seeds wherever she went is turned after many years it turned into a little forest sea of green full of greenery down over there on the land which was barren when it was nothing when the girl was dropping the seeds only okay students
students, just now I read and explain you the poem. Hope you have understood. Right? So once again I will read the poem for you. In my old town by Erin Hansen. I told about Erin Hansen also. Who was she? And she died in very early age. Okay? In my old town there was a girl. She dropped seeds everywhere she went. So you understood? While all the boys carved out their names in any patch of wet cement, they would laugh at her and tell her she would never make a mark if all she left behind her were some falling leaves and bark. Meaning of make a mark? See down over there is given. Be noticed because you did something impressive. Okay? That make a mark to make something impressive. May leave the mark to, to well known of you. And bark means, I told bark also. What is bark? It's not the dog's bark. Okay? It is bark. So bark. I told you bark but still I am telling you. Bark is not that dog's barking. Okay? This bark is the outer layer of the tree. Tree means trunk part. Trunk means like, um, just one minute. You know what is trunk? This is a tree. This is tree. Okay? This part is called trunk. And bark is the outer layer of this bark, of this trunk. This is trunk. Yes, this is also called trunk. And two more meanings of trunk. One is trunk means a big boss. Other trunk is, second one is nose of, a, nose of an elephant. Yes. And the third meaning of trunk is, this is the down part of, a, of an old tree. Okay. That is also called trunk. So this... Uh, Bark means. So, I wonder if they have been back since we grew and left that place. Or if they still all carry markers in their pockets just in case. Because I would love to see their faces if I told them what I have seen. That the streets where we once played. Now drawn beneath a sea of green. And their names scratched on the sidewalk. Weren't as eternal as they had planned. For in the place where they once wrote them. An endless forest proudly stands. Would they tell that girl they are sorry? If they ever had the choice for not knowing those worth hearing, don't always have the loudest voice that in future all the things we do will still have an effect. And that sometimes those who change the world and are those who you least expect. So this uh, poem Sidewalk means pavement. Okay, the pavement. Internal means something that lost, last, sorry, last forever. So this poem is about a little girl in my old town. This poem is about a little girl. What she was doing? She was dropping the seeds wherever she went. And the boys of her age, what they were doing? They were carving the names on the wet cement. Why they were carving on the wet cement? Because they thought that when the cement will get dried, then what will happen? Their names will remain over there forever. Okay? And they were just teasing the girl. Make, making fun of her, of that girl. 
that this girl is only dropping the seeds, no other work she was having, not leaving any mark behind her. And what she is leaving behind her? They just made the joke and said, okay, and what uh, that they just uh, uh, made fun of her? That she is leaving the leaves, leaves dropping from the tree and the bark. Bark I told you, this outer part of the trunk is called bark. So this only she is leaving behind her and they made the fun of her. And then this uh, poetess is saying that she was just wondered when they grew and will come back to the town, same town. Then what will happen? Where they will find the names which they carved on the cement because this dropping seeds converted into forest. And the land which was barren that time. Now because of this, those seeds which girl dropped every time, everywhere she went, now converted into forest. And these boys will come again with the markers to just carve, then where they will carve their name. And what will happen? What, was, what will be the reaction on the face of these boys when they will come and back and found and they will try to find that where my name is gone. Where they played over there, where the place gone, everywhere there is a search, and then I want to see the reactions on the faces, on their faces, and because that place converted into forest. So would they go to say sorry to the girl? Why sorry? Because they teased her for not leaving the mark and the stupid work she is doing of dropping it. And this girl did the great work, kind work. What the work was? The work that, uh, that uh, dropping the seed was the making the forest, converted into forest. That was really helpful for the people. So kind work never be announced. We go to work, we should not announce, oh, I'm going to help this poor, I've given... Uh, thousand rupees this poor or any ways to help anyone or do the kind work should not be announced. Should not to tell in somebody that I did the kind work. I should be appreciated for it. This should, should not be done. Okay. Now, the theme of this poem is that the unsung little acts of kindness that go for the long way in bearing fruits and brightening the lives of others. As the poets, poetess says in the last two lines, and that sometimes those who change the world. So at the last, the poet says, the people who want to change the world, the ones whom you least expect it from. Got it? The poem is clear you? It's clear to you? So, this poem is clear, I read, I explained and I hope you understood the poem. Okay students, now in the next session, I will give you the notes of this poem because there are no exercises in this lesson. So, nothing to do. What is the first, uh, uh, I think the first answer which I will make you write in the book only. Uh, just one minute students. The first answer is, yes, the first answer you have to do in the book. I'll make you do. And second, third, fourth, fifth answers I'll give you through notes and reference to the context. One more also be added in this. Read between the lines. Answer the questions. This is also be added. Okay. This all will be given through notes to you and you. Just as you did for the last lessons, you do for this lesson also. And no other exercises, no other exercises are there in this book to do. Okay, children? Now, take care. Bye. We'll meet in the next session.